Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I've got a brand new REIT that I just discovered and I want to tell you a little bit about it. It is, guys, a hidden gem in the niche real estate arena. Let's talk about equity lifestyle properties. Hey guys, equity lifestyle properties or ELS. It has a unique strategy of investing in niche real estate markets. Specifically, they're focusing on manufactured home or MH communities, RV parks, campgrounds, marinas, all of this. This is where their focus is. And this off the beaten path approach is what has yielded significant returns for investors over the years. We're gonna look at some of those returns here in a minute. I think your mind's gonna be blown. But let's understand the market perception first. Manufactured home communities often have a negative perception as less desirable living options. Real estate investors typically perform more aesthetically appealing properties like office towers, luxury apartments. And this perception is what has allowed ELS to carve out a successful niche by investing in these overlooked property types. And that's why this REIT has really gone under the radar and is, I mean, it's a diamond. Equity Lifestyle Properties, let's, let's look at the, uh, just an overview of the company. ELS is one of only three, guys, one of only three publicly traded REITs that focuses on MH communities. The company's portfolio includes over 450 properties across 35 states, one Canadian province, totaling nearly 172,500 sites. Their focus on high quality properties in retirement and vacation destinations is what sets them apart. They have over 110 properties that have lakes, rivers, or ocean frontage. 120 of their properties are within 10 miles of the US coastline. Over 70% of MH communities cater to residents aged 55 plus. A lot of these numbers are like unexpected. People don't really realize this, but let's look at their business model. ELS owns the land and then they lease the developed sites to the owners of manufactured homes, RVs, and boats. And there's been a stable demand in MH communities due to the high moving cost for residents. Look at some of these other things. They're, they have high occupancy rates. They have the ability to consistently increase rental rates even during recessions. There's a growing demand for RV parks and marinas that's driven by demographics and increased interest in outdoor experiences. And above, they have an above average long-term same store net operating income growth. Look, look at this, 4.4% since 1998 compared to 3.3% for the average REIT. So they are 1.1% above average. That's pretty, that's pretty awesome. And they have a track record, guys, of shareholder value growth. This is what gets me excited as an investor. ELS has delivered over 7,230% total return since its IPO, with a 14.6% annualized return. That performance significantly outpaces the S&P 500's annualized return of only 10.5%. So you're getting like uh, a just over 4% boost with this over the average S&P 500. In the last 10 years alone, guys, ELS has been in the 90th percentile in the REIT sector with a 14.7 annualized return. Strong record of dividend growth. Since 2006, ELS has achieved 21% compound annual dividend growth. Their current dividend yield is around 2.7%. And I know a lot of people are gonna be like, well, that's not too exciting, but compare it to the S&P 500's average of only 1.3%. A $500 investment in ELS produces about $13.50 in annualized dividend income versus the $6.50 from a similar S&P 500 investment. And they've got a lot of potential for future growth. There's continued strong fundamentals in the in MH communities. Constrained supply, healthy demand are making MH a more affordable living option. There's increased demand for RV sites, marina slips, 
ELS's strong financial position is allowing for two things, guys. First of all, investment in existing communities by adding amenities, expanding the sites, but also acquisition of new properties as high quality opportunities arise. They have multiple growth drivers that are ensuring continued cash flow growth and increased dividends. So ELS is focused on niche property types like image communities, RV parks, marinas is what has led to their substantial shareholder value growth, low supply, strong demand in these markets is what has positioned ELS for continued success and ELS's ability to invest in growth, maintain a strong balance sheet is what is supporting its ongoing dividend increases. So guys, equity lifestyle properties, it remains a hidden gem for investors that are seeking strong, reliable dividend stocks. Anyway, guys, I'm curious to know what you all think, so leave a comment down below. Let me know what you're doing with the stock. I'll tell you right now, I'm not buying in on this stock. This is something I've been researching, looking at something I found. I wanted to bring this to you today. Looks like a fantastic buy. I'm not buying today. If you do wanna know what stocks I'm buying, then subscribe to the channel, guys, because every single week I post a video explaining what stock I'm buying that week. Also, guys, leave a like if you enjoyed this video and you want more videos like this. And I'll see you again in another video tomorrow. Y'all take it easy and I'll see you later.